everyone, Happy New Year. So this video is just a video showing you what planners I used in 2019 and why I chose them and then why I then decided to reject them <laughs> one by one. So we'll start with my Hobonichi Cousin A5. So did you hear that thud? So I got this right at the beginning of the year. Um, I really enjoyed it. So the reason why I got this is because I've never had a Hobonichi before so I really wanted to feel what the paper was like. I got it because I love daily planning and I love um, vertical yeah, vertical weeks. Um, and I loved how there was loads of like um, options at the beginning. So I used the first page for goals and then you've got monthly. I used that for like finances. Well, I was going to do but I wasn't very good at finances then. And then there's flips of my weeklies on um, on YouTube, I think, on my channel. So you can tell I don't do anything in these hours of the day. <laughs> That's where the sticker always went. So yeah, a bunch of weeklies. And then they start to peter out around there. And then again, there's flips of my dailies on YouTube. But this, so what I really liked about this planner was the paper. I loved how much space you had. I generally would use the left side for like timed. I used the time thing a lot and then the right side for to-dos. I generally did that the whole time and I really enjoyed it. Um, there were two things I just liked about this planner. And even though you get all this space in the daily page, I still really, really missed the notes section. I mean like a lot. What was I doing there? I just wrote that I was indifferent, I guess. Yeah, so I just, I need a note section. I need like um, a project section, like, so in the end I gave up and just decided to use the last three months as note pages because I was like, it has to happen. So then I have like a notes page thing at the back. So then the other thing I just liked about this book was how heavy it was. I got, oh, I, so I, I put this in originally to try and like cater for the lack of notes pages, but that wasn't good enough. So yeah, I hated lugging this around. It was so heavy. It was hefty to get out of my bag. Um, this is an AliExpress cover, by the way. It's not the Hobonichi real one. I got so fed up of lugging it about. I was like, I want something lighter. So <laughs> my next planner is, you guessed it, an Erin Condren. A million times lighter. I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> But the plan was, was that I would use an A6 Stellogy and carry this around with me, which is tiny, and keep this at home, but this would be my main planner. So, this is set up pretty normally. Um, it bugs me when I see people that don't use this page, and then I didn't use this page. Like, I love this page. I wish I used that. Yeah, so I didn't get it in April. I got it in May, so I did like a memory a day here. And then I did it um, morning, afternoon and to-dos. No, day, night, to-dos even. And then this was my Nana schedule and then this is like the meal plan. So I used that for quite a while. And then this time I used a monthly for writing plan. And I did lots of weeks in here. I quite liked it. Don't buy these. These, I don't, they don't stick to anything. And they fall out of your planner. I know they're not falling out right now, but honestly don't buy them. Um, so, and then I fancied just a bit of pen. So the flip of this I think is on my Instagram. Um, so then the other thing I did, because obviously I really wanted notes pages, was I coiled in a take note notebook and I used about half of these notes pages on projects and um, such. So I really enjoyed having all those notes pages. Um, and then the idea was that I would carry this with me and then I would literally just have like notes in it. So like that had like a mini planning and then some more planning there. But I just didn't enjoy not having my whole planner with me. Like I really didn't enjoy leaving this at home. So I sometimes ended up carrying it anyway. Um, I wasn't really attached to this because I hadn't really set it up. It was just a notebook. It wasn't really a planner. Um, this is also an AliExpress cover. Um, so yeah, I wasn't enjoying the two thing combo. I really like being in one planner. I always have. So then, 
I bought an A5 file box, which again, you're thinking, Hannah, that's not lighter. And you're right, it's not, it's a lot. Well, it's just as heavy. So I didn't use this uh, cover, this is a new one, but um, I used the A5 Pink Flora and I bought it because at this point I don't have a job. And what month are we in now? I think I used this till about August. Let's have a look. Oh yes, I used it in August. So I was in Hobonichi in the Erin Condren for a good like seven months of the year. So that's not bad. I think I, that's it's not too bad. Two planners in seven months. But at this point I was fed up of not having a job. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to order this brightest, pinkest file of I can because nobody's going to tell me not to because I don't have a job. So that was like my concession. You don't have a job. You can have a really pretty file of um, planner. So this was the setup that was in that. Um, but I'm using it for something else this year, so it's in here. It's, I've just put it in this cover for now. So I had like a writing tracker first. Didn't use it in November. And then that was like a writing planning. That's what it was going to be like a plan for the writing that I do on a day. Um, and then random pages. Oh, I was going to use that as a tracker, but that didn't happen. So then I used this for like. Um, Monies and finances, and then love a bit of twilight, and then so here I had what are they called? No, yeah, horizontal. This is the first time I was in a horizontal this year, so I actually really enjoyed it. I like being in a horizontal, but then at this point I started volunteering in an office on Wednesdays. This is my favourite week. This is planner first, and I really enjoyed it. But I was like, well, this makes perfect sense. I can use this planner for. Um, the office set at church and well I just got fed up of carrying this too which are you surprised based on the, the previous planners that I've had so after the third or fourth time carrying it I was like I'm done this was a social media tracker which is funny because you can tell by how often I post that I don't take it seriously I just do it for fun but I put one in there anyway and then there's a football stuff because I love football American football not soccer we're in England here, so that's football, but I don't like that kind of football. So yeah, so then um, I made a bunch of these, which is like the like a side opening thing. So I just used it with two pieces of acetate and I laminated them, but I made one piece of acetate the length of where I wanted it to cut. And then I just chopped it with my husband's X-Acto knife. And then, yeah, so I made a few of them for a few planners. And then habit trackers, and then that's it. And then I love this. I love Harry Potter. Just because you're allowed to use magic now does not mean you have to whip your wand out for everything. So obviously this was too heavy. I was like, forget it. So I know what you're asking. Well, Hannah have finally learned her lesson. <laughs> she did. So I bought this tiny one. So I fancied something a bit simpler as well. I couldn't really be bothered to set up another planner. So I bought this, and this is a really dinky little planner. Like it's really cute. I didn't even fill this in. I hate it when I don't fill stuff in. Like, why? It's there to be filled in. Um, so, I love how it has got tabs. It's so cute. So I used, like, the little monthly thing as a writing tracker. But as you can see, I was not in this for very long. <laughs> this did not last long at all. Like, one week? Okay, so two, three, four, basically four four weeks but this is actually a really nice little planner like it's got like tab months and it's got like a pull out little year at a glance which I really like and it's got next year on the back well this year now I like expenses addresses like it's a really nice little planner so I made the covers and I'm hoping to myself so they just pop off if I pulled it um but I was missing my dailies so and there isn't that much space in here so I used I had one of these already so I used a Hobonichi notebook to do dailies but again that lasted like a hot minute so that went <laughs> and then we finally settled upon this for good so I actually set this up like a proper planner so it starts on the photo yeah so I set it up properly and I started carrying this and this did last the, for the rest of 2019 so I put my schedule at the front and then I used the monthly as forward planning and I didn't actually have a weekly in here. I was ready to print it if I needed it, like I was just going to stick in, um, you know like these ones are stuck in, I was just going to stick it, stick in some Peanuts Planner Co weeklies if I needed to but um, 
I actually was fine with just dailies, so I split it up morning, afternoon, evening. I don't think I've shown this one before. I hope there's nothing on it that's secret because I didn't check this beforehand. I love this kit. This is Planner Face. I love that. So yeah, I really actually enjoyed this. Then every week I would have a This Week page, which I really enjoyed using, which went by the way so when I was busy, but I did enjoy it when I wasn't busy. So the morning, afternoon, evening thing worked really well. That's one thing I really like about the Erin Condren. Oh, did I mention it? The other thing I don't like about the Erin Condren is the paper. Now, I know that is a very unpopular opinion, but it's just basically card. It's got no moving or flow to it. I, just, ugh, I don't like it at all. So, coming to December now. Oh, this got so busy. As it always is around Christmas. And then I started cheating on this planner with my new 2020 planner because I couldn't wait to use it. And then I just had some 2020 dates. And then, so when I set this planner up, I set up every single day till the end of the year um, so that I knew when the notes pages would start. Because as you can probably have guessed by now, I really need notes pages. So I've got like projects and then a whole Christmas section with like presents. Because I was organizing a few people's Christmas. And then like, Happy tracker that I didn't really use. And then some routines, some church plans, more Christmas planning, and then just 2020 ideas, a game we played. And then, yeah. Oh, there's just some spare peanuts planner coming. So I've still got a little bit of this notebook left. Um, I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, did I say that this was an Aliexpress cover? I think I did. Yeah, so that's what I did in 2019. I finally happened on something that was light and had nice paper, which apparently are my two priorities. I really started to fall out with the Erin Condren paper. So speaking of which, the other thing I bought this year, which I didn't really use, was the Deluxe Monthly, which I'm really annoyed that I didn't, see, I didn't fill it in again. Like, I really love the idea of this planner. I think it's gorgeous. I love the coil. I love the quirk. I love the monthly view, how big it is and how much space you've got. I didn't buy this in January. I bought it mid-year, like in the sales section. So I started using it as like a writing, reading planner. But what I've actually been using it for is um, I just use it to write down notes from the writing course that I'm doing. So... But I just realised that it actually starts in January, so I think I might just change the dates and try and use it this year because I do really think this is a really gorgeous planner. But what do you guys use the um, pages in between the monthlies for? Let me know because uh, I would, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to use these ones for. Yeah, so I bought that, but I didn't really use that, so here's hoping for this year because it, I don't want to waste this, it's really nice. And then, so the other thing I wanted to show you just before I go, is I set up a few planners that I didn't use this year. So I just thought I'd flick through the setups and show you them. This is a Filofax Pocket Croc. I wanted this planner for literally forever, but just the nature of my life as it is right now, because I don't have a job, I plan my whole day myself, and the pocket is just too small. Like, the A6 seems to be a happy medium, but there is quite a bit of difference between the page size and like a, that's fine, like just a daily page. Like the A6 sheet and like a pocket daily sheet. Like, I just couldn't fit half as much on. Like, and I've been in pocket before and I've loved it, but that was when I had a job and there was like nine hours a day that didn't need planning. So I'll just show you a quick flip. So yeah, I set this up, but oh, I should stick, I should steal some die cuts out of this for my current plan. Um, so a little yearly, and then like a little yearly plan thing, month, so I made these divided on Canva, oh I should steal these ones, look that's from Gilmore Girls, the horoscope, so I was going to use this weekly but alas, it was not meant to be, I also used the printer paper that I don't like when I set this up, so yeah, oh that's Taylor Swift, quote, I love this stuff, um, yeah, so I didn't. I don't really like the paper that's in here, which so I was kind of setting up to fail before I even started. Bit of the office and a project section with um, another yearly thing at the front, and then I cut up 
uh, astrology paper so that there'd be some nice paper in it. But I realised afterwards that I didn't like this printed paper. And some notes at the back. And this is Once More With Love with Annie Plans Printables. So I never used that, but I set it up. Then I also set up this pocket, which I wanted to try it where you make the pocket inserts literally as big as the pocket planner so that you get more space. But I wasn't really feeling it, to be honest. So I used top tabs. It's pretty much the same setup. I won't labour this. So monthly. I made him like the side uh, dashboards for these as well. So I'm set up for if I ever, ever do use this size. I can just change out what's on the inside. So I was going to use these as dailies and then what's next? Projects and then notes and then the football schedule. So playoffs today. Who's watching it? I am. Well, I hope I get back in time anyway. And then, so I set up this after I set up this one, just for a bit of fun. <laughs> but again, I used the printer paper that I didn't like, so I don't even like this setup that much at all, like some goals and, oh, I forgot I put pictures in this one. I should take that out. Um, so I have a couple of dashboards ready. So I have like monthly, I'm just getting boring now because all the planners have the same stuff in. Weekly, that one's got horizontal in. Another weekly. Oh, I made like a flip, flippy outy one. I just made these dividers myself with pictures off Google or Pinterest. Lots of dailies, more dailies. So I've used this size before, but I used it in 2018 a lot. So I kind of wanted a break. Some church plans, New York information. I went to New York in October, so hence the New York themed cover. Did I mention that? football schedule and then when I used this planner in 2018 I used to keep all my cards in the back so yeah I really like this little molding well not that little is it but I did use it a lot in 2018 so it was nice to have a break from personal size and then this is like a TN so I actually put this came with one string in but I put a couple more in I actually really like strings I just this again this is too heavy I put a calendar in monthly I bought this weekly off a shop off Etsy. I can't remember the. I just filled it in, but I never used it. Oh, I love that picture. I should get that one out too. This is a thing when you go through planners, you find stuff. Um, so then this is that Midori uh, super thin paper. What's it called? Lightweight book. But they do. I just wanted to see what the paper was like. This was all filled in with cards and stuff at some point, but. And then I, that I just, that's just one that I just printed with squared paper. Yeah, so that's my other one. So the total of wasted setups this year is four, but they're set up without dates, so I can use them whenever they're not hurting anybody. This is like my dream cover. I wish they made this in A6 so bad. But apart from paying Van der Speck or Julia, there seems to be no other way of doing it, which is really sad. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my 2019 um, journey. <laughs> I hope you don't think me too wasteful, but it seems to be a bit of the uh, hazard of the trade, doesn't it? When you like planners. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. And um, I'm going to do a 2020 setup next. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.